The identity of the nothing has been revealed, and this beast might play a part in this Fortnite live event. If you want good luck for the rest of the year, please like, subscribe, and use code SMJM. Now, the Rift Gate has been completed by Stellon in the order of Ageless Champion. Now, everyone thought the Ageless Champion was a Geno. So basically this guy. And that is true and false at the same time. Because even though this guy right here looks like Geno, but he is in fact just a snapshot of Geno. And if you guys don't know, snapshot is created when every time someone goes through the zero point, a clone of them is created on the Fortnite map. And that's why Jones has so many different snapshots because he he has been through the zero point a lot. Now, you might be wondering who is making Stalon, also known as Rift Warden, build this Rift Gate, which is going to play a huge part during this live event. And that person is the Nothing. Now, the identification of the Nothing, I think, has been revealed, and that is by the Rift Warden. Because Stalon describes the Nothing as a shapeless man who is neither a human human nor a beast it only has a voice and the reason why we know that is because it's through a quest we heard the nothing's voice in the final season of chapter three we find out that bite is in fact working for the nothing and through this television we hear the nothing's voice Now, at the end of the quest line, Rift Warden reveals to us that it is, in fact, the nothing who's making him build this Rift Gate. Came to the Earthbound at the order of the Shapeless Man. He yearns for a Rift Gate, and if we fail, he may destroy us. So this means that the Shapeless Man, or the nothing, is trying to get to this Chapter 4 map. And the only way he can do that is by using that Rift Gate. Because if you guys don't know, the Rift Gate has the power to connect different realities. So you can move from one into the other using the Rift Gate. I believe during this live event, we are going to see this happen. Happen. We are going to see the nothing use the rift gate to come to Fortnite chapter 4 map. Now, the only thing about the rift gate is that even though it is ready, it needs a lot of power. And we are not talking about like double A battery kind of power. We are talking about energy strong enough to power a star. And according to Rift Warden, that energy can be generated by kinetic ores. A raw kinetic ore when undisturbed pulses with unimaginable power yes i'm talking about these mysterious purple rocks that you can find on the map if you go to shattered slabs you can see jeno is mining these rocks he has also been using these rocks to create weapons and other items as well like the hammer an excalibur rifle and when he uses the kinetic rocks to gather enough energy to run the rift gate it is successful meaning that the rift gate is ready to be used still the rift warden fears that there is a possibility that the rift gate might fail if the rift gate fails i fear my nightmares will devour my waking life and again he says that the shapeless man is going to destroy everything if this fails but the very last thing he says reveals to us the identification of the nothing this is what he says uh, the champion has set our coordinates soon we will attempt to open the gate the champion has set the coordinates and soon we will open the gate and the champion he's referring to is ageless champion the original jenna and this is how the original jenna looks like he's older and he is super powerful and we know this from the zero wars comic book at the end of the collision event jenna is seen in the zero point agent jones and the foundation 
Nations goes after him, and eventually in the comic book, they manage to defeat Jeno. But on the final page, we find out that Jeno is still alive. And even though he does not have a body, he's using his power to slowly piece him back together. So my theory is that what if Jeno is the nothing? Because Stallone keeps saying that Ageless Champion is making him build the Rift Gate, and then he refers to him as a shapeless man. So what if Jeno, the original Jeno, does not have a shape right now and he's building himself he is stuck in a different reality and wants to come back to this fortnite chapter 4 map and continue trying to take over all realities and i think during this live event we are going to witness all this and also reality warriors and if you guys don't know reality warriors they're basically like a really old version of the seven and the oathbound is like a really old version of the imagine order so the reality Reality warriors are not going to just sit back and watch this happen. They will try to fight back in the live event. And one way they are going to do this is by bringing back the Seven. According to this robot called Amy, the Seven are stuck in this different reality. And they're actually in prison and is being tortured. Especially scientists because Amy reveals to us that the scientist is facing a worst fate imaginable. And because of this, I think we know the identification of the scientist now. I'm going to reveal that in just a bit. But Amy's plan is to use the rift gate to go back in the reality where the scientist is stuck and somehow try to save him. And in this quest, it is revealed that Amy is in fact AIM. This robot skin that we got all the way back in chapter one, season five. I remember when this robot showed up on the map, there were a few theories people people were talking about but everyone forgot about him now after almost five years it has all been revealed and here is who i think the scientist is i think the scientist is the prisoner because amy shows up on the map on season five and season six is a corrupted season kevin the cube corrupts everything and season seven was the ice king season and the secret skin that season was the prisoner again another character that we knew nothing about. If you look at the prisoner, you can tell this guy has been through a lot. Also, if you played the imposter mode, there was a board in the Imagine Order's headquarter that had information about the Seven. And on that board, we see a picture of the prisoner and his name as well. So this further confirms that prisoner is in fact uh, the scientist. Now, all the way back in season seven, we saw the prisoner skin. And after a few weeks, he somehow escaped. And at the time, that wasn't explained as well. And now we know that Amy was actually helping him. And that's how he managed to escape. And I think during the live event, we are going to see all this unravel. And finally, I also think that this uh, beast right here is going to be involved in the live event. I don't think Fortnite would create such a cool beast only to use him in the concert for like a few minutes. And again, even though these are just my theories, it is still based on like strong evidence. Uh, let me know your guys theory in the comment section below and please like subscribe and use code smjm i love you fams peace out